it's knock out time so I managed to catch everybody in one go and put them in the play cage if you're wondering what this long thing is here that's a tight rope for them to play on which I seem to enjoy got their dangly toy some tubes and some cubes to chew on and hides, Toblerone tube, bowl of food and I'm about to clip the water bottle on now to put the lid on so my cunning plan was everybody was asleep in the red bedroom so I took the red bedroom off with all the minute and put it in the play cage and they've just woken up and found themselves in the play cage so I'm going to put them in a quiet room while I do some knockouts and then we'll get some more mouse video afterwards I'm definitely enjoying the tightrope. Let's go in and Mopar on the tightrope. Mopar always thinks he's going to get a treat. He's very difficult to say no to. He's very, very cute. But he will get fat if he gets treats every time he asks. There's little Forenza. Eh? He's climbing the bars. Finish the knockout, and we've got a scone there, and a lovely golden little mopar there. With a scone, big blue satin. What else do we have? That was a striped face, is Manta. Hello, mopar. I get the feeling, because they're always together, that Mopar and Ascona are best buddies. They're always up to something together. Oh, very good at balancing. We have a clever mouse tail. Ooh, they're all coming out. Little dark Forenza there. And then Hemi is the tan and white now on there. And have you got both great girls? Let's see. Now he's still got a Skona and Forenza. Forenza's a dark grey girl. It's all brown and white. Here's the spell. There's the spell. Hello, friends. Eh? Oh, brave girl. She all wants to go back in the big house again. I'm going to go back in the big house. Shall I take the lid off? Get you all on the table. The tightrope is an old dog lead. Just thought it worked really well with his cage for them to climb up and have fun. Because they enjoy balancing using their tails. It's a natural skill that they don't often get to use in normal cages. I'm going to see if I can catch some people. And they have the lid off. Let's 
see if I can get some more light on here. Little Henny. Little Henny's being brave. Hello. Little Grandpa. Little striped face. Little Florenza. Here's Hemi, looking a little bit lost. Hemi! Hand. Hand. Oh no. Put on a hand. Right, I'm going to see if I can do some handling. But I can't do that while holding the camera. I haven't got an assistant. I shall just have to put the camera down for a bit. Oh, pretty this now. That is quite nice to be able to film them all out of the cage in proper light. So I should maybe make the most of the opportunity. You are a brave little girl, Hemi. I think that Hemi and Manta are the two big bosses of the cage. They're in charge. Hello. Hand. There's Mo, it's having a sack. What a brave boy. You're a brave mouse. Good boy. What a good boy. I'm going to put you back in the cage as a reward. You clever boy. There you go. You get to go back in first. It's a reward for getting on hand. Being clever and brave. Go on. Go on. Good boy. So that's the reward for being brave. Anybody else? Anyone else want to go home? Well, here we've got everybody except for Nismo. Uh, sorry, for Mopar. Mopar was the first one to jump on a hand, so he's gone back in a cage as a reward. He gets to explore first and get all the tasty treats first that are hidden in there. So here's all the girls. So you see I've got one brown and white, just there, which is Nismo. I've got two gold, bro uh, try again. I've got two blue satins, a Camaro and a Skona. And I've got two 
tannin mites, which are Henny, who's a good brave girl. Come on then, let's put you back in. Good girl. Come on then. Oh, steady. You have to jump. There we have Henny. And we have Manta. And finally, little dark girl there is Firenza. So, who's next for the hand? Who wants to go home? I can feel them all vibrating through the plastic of the cage. They do a little buzzing, vibrating with their bodies when they're investigating things. Now, I'm not expecting everyone to jump on my hand this early on, so I'll probably end up catching them when they're in the tubes, like whoever's in there. I might get two for one there. But I'll do it with both hands. But eventually they'll learn that being caught means nice things. So I'm going to get them all back in the cage now. This is little Forenza, the last girl we've got. Very pretty dark grey with black eyes. It's time for you to go back in the cage too.